In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add multimedia and external resources to your hypothesis annotations. In this example, I'm going to be annotating this textbook chapter from an open educational textbook on defining life at the molecular level. So say I am scrolling along and doing my reading and I wanted to add a video about the structure of DNA and RNA because I felt it was a helpful video that uh, added more context to the structure of, um, of these two nucleic acids. So I can click on over to my YouTube video. Once I have a YouTube video that I'd like to share, I can click on the share button. And then all I have to do is copy the URL that appears here go back to my hypothesis assignment, and then I can highlight the text that I'd like to annotate, click the annotate button, and then really all I have to do to share a video and embed it in my annotation is right click and paste my YouTube video URL. If I click preview here, I'll be able to see, oh, this is what it's gonna look like in my annotation. Um, if I go back to write, you know, I can add context if I'd like to, and then I can click post to add the YouTube video annotation. So I've added one type of multimedia here. As I continue to scroll along, say I come across something and I'd like to add an image annotation. Uh, again, I can go from Google Images, find an image that I'd like to add to my annotation. From here, it's important that you don't select this top URL. So we're gonna ignore this top URL. I'm going to right click the image itself and click copy image address. And then go back to my annotation page, select the text I'd like to annotate. From here, I want to click on the little uh, image icon that shows up in my annotation pane. Once I click on that, it will give me a space to paste the image URL. So all I'll simply do here is right click and click paste. I wanna make sure I don't add any extra characters here. Um, so sometimes people will accidentally add a space at the end or anything like that. We wanna make sure the code stays as it is and don't remove any of the code. Again, I can preview it to make sure it's working if I want to, and I can post that. Finally, another great thing that you can add to an annotation is a link to an external URL. So if there is a website that, um, explains something that you're reading about and, and perhaps even better way, then I can find, you know, the spot I'd like to annotate, find this website that explains it in a way perhaps I understand it even better, copy the URL of the website. Again, go back to my annotation. And I can say the text that I'd like to link here. Once I've typed that in, I'll select that. And again, I'm going to click on the little chain link icon in the annotation pane. And again, all I want to do here is right click and click paste to replace the text that was already there. Don't want to change any of the code here. If I click on preview, you'll notice that my text has turned into a hyperlink. And now I can click post and I have added an external URL. So in this video, we have reviewed how you can embed a YouTube video, an image or an external URL to add some different types of media to your annotations and add different ways to explain the reading right along the annotation sidebar.